doing well? Well, today is January 31st, 2020, and I'm here to do five makeup product, five, five, <laughs> five makeup products that I want to use up uh, by Cinco de Mayo. Um, I had a little tough time trying to pick products, and I'll tell you why, because I'm trying to be really realistic you know, I'm trying to be realistic with what I think I can use up because when it comes to certain makeup products, it just a little goes a long way. And so I was having a hard time trying to find things that I know that I had a good shot at getting through them because I don't want to fail. <laughs> I don't want to fail at completing this. You know what I mean? So, but I wanted to make it challenging enough to where there's the challenge part of it. I was really digging through my makeup. I put one product in and I'm like, no, that's not realistic. And then I take it out and then I, it, you should have seen me. I was just, it was fun though. It was fun. It's fun to go into my makeup collection and go through everything. It's fun. But I was going in and out of stuff and it was just, <laughs> I got to a point where I'm like, nope, these are the five. These are the ones that I'm sticking to. Um, of course, I always uh, put two uh, follow-up products in there. So I did that with my beauty items. If you haven't seen that, I did do five that I want to use up by Cinco de Mayo. And again, I put two extra follow-up or two runner-ups in there. Uh, and I'll put that link, which way? Here? Let me see. Here. I think it goes here. <laughs> Sorry. But um, I'll put that link. So if you guys want to check that out. Okay, so let's get started because uh, my camera gets hot and I just did a video and it's, I know my camera's hot right now. All right, so we're going to revisit this palette, the Lorac Pro 3. We're going to revisit that product or this palette. This was in last year's Pan That Palette for 2019 and uh, I did show how that all came out. But there's a shadow in here that I absolutely love and that's uh, this one, Terracotta. Terracotta is a shadow that I absolutely love. Um, I love the color. I love the way it applies. I love that you can build it. Uh, you can use this as a transition. You can use this as whatever you want. It's, it's such a buildable color. It It's not powdery. It's not uh, like uh, splotchy. It's just, it's a really good shadow. And so uh, I want to finish that up. So this shadow is in this project. There you go, Terracotta from Lorac Pro 3. All right, the other thing is I put a lipstick in here. Um, this is from Marc Jacobs, and uh, I don't know what color it is, and I don't know if my camera's gonna pick it up. Okay, so there's that. We're gonna go ahead, oh, my drawer. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and try and use this up. So let me show you where it's at, right there right there there you go um i don't know we'll see guys let me give you a swatch it's a really pretty color very pretty color i'm not so much into the more pinker sides i like the more uh brown that kind of color shade uh the pink ones i don't do too good but it's not that i don't like them i do like them i don't know i don't know why i feel like Maybe because my eye colors, a lot of times I do more warmer tones. Uh, but anyways, there's that. So that is product number two. So let's move on to this one here. This is the Physician's Formula Bronze Booster. And in this particular one, I'm only going to try to focus on as one of my five main products will be this one right here. The con uh, cur um, contour, the contour one. This is from Physicians Formula Bronze Booster. So only this one here, okay, for the main five, okay? But I will use one of these for a runner up, okay? So just for the main five is the uh, contour part of it. And I also have uh, this Becca Under Eye Primer. This is good, I do like it. It is a balm kind of for, uh, formula kind of feel to it. Balmy, emollient. Um, I do like it. It's supposed to be like a blurring effect for your under eye creasing fine lines. It's supposed to blur it out. I do like it. Yeah, I do like this um, product here. Um, I don't have a lot of this left. I don't, but it's not something that I pull all the time. 
and it's not something I use a lot of because I don't use it all over my face. And it's the L'Oreal Paris Revitalift Miracle Blur. I don't even think they sell this anymore, guys. I really, really don't. I don't have a lot. I don't have a lot, but you don't use a lot. And um, with all the other primers and things like that that I have, it's I'm just pushing it to the side so I want to get this out it's still really really good I recently did use it I recently picked it up it did what it was supposed to do for me and it did not break me out it did not smell it did not do anything like that um, so it's still good but it needs to go it needs to go um, I can't tell you how much I have I you could I could get a bunch out of here a bunch out of here and a bunch out of here so this is something that I, I liked but it needs to go it needs to go so that was one two three four five now two runners up okay these are the two runners up if I don't get through any of the other stuff again we're going to go back to the bronze booster and we're going to take this color uh, this is the highlighting shade of it um, I wouldn't use it as a highlighter um, but there is a little bit of sheen to it I don't think that's going to pick up no actually no Actually, no, it's pretty flat. Um, I'm going to try to get through this uh, by putting it all over my eyelid when I do, um, you know, set my eye primer and things like that. We'll, we'll use it that way. Sometimes I don't like to use, um, uh, like what I have on today, I don't like to use that shimmery. I can just put that to highlight on top. Um, so for that, we'll try to use it, but that will be a runner up product, okay? So let me give you a good shot of that. Okay, and finally, finally, finally is a lip pencil. Now this one does not, it's not gonna go with the Marc Jacobs. It's too off in color. Let me show you. Oh, actually not, well, yeah, it is, it is, it's, it's off. So here's the liner right here. Here's the Marc Jacobs, so. Uh, but this one here, I do use a lot of this color lipstick i'm using one right now and shot my stash from bite beauty called mocha and that's spelled m-o-k-a um and this one goes really really pretty with it in fact this is in shot my stash as well so um yeah i want to get through this um and i'll put i'll show you where it's at we'll compare it here so we'll go by this side so we can get a good comparison shot there so those are the five plus two products that I want to get through uh, by Cinco de Mayo. I will do monthly updates for you guys. Right now I am going to be working on the update for the Tarte Tartlet Palette, Tartlet in Bloom Palette. That is the one that is in my Pan That Palette for 2020. Yeah, pound that palette for 2020 and I look out for that update coming here within the next couple of days so I'm gonna go ahead and record that probably tomorrow to get that up for you guys so check that out that would be a month update for you guys all right my friends that's it that's it um, I hope you guys enjoyed and if you guys are doing a Cinco de Mayo use up or any any challenge makeup challenge you guys are doing please let me know and I will go check that out all right my friends talk to you guys soon see you next month for that update